Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. New Lafroy. Karchus. Pedro Jimenez finished. They won me back from the last one. How's this one going to do? We're going to test it. Lafroy and Karchus style. Mm -hmm. Two editions ago. Two editions? Last year was Port and Wine Cast. Did we get it? But yeah, we did it. It was good. No, the one we didn't really like it won me, the one before was yeah, the, that was the three wood or the triple wood. Yeah, that's purchase. right. Triple wood was magical. See, the, the other one must have been just so so if I don't remember it. I remember the magical. Yeah. Triple. Triple wood. Yeah. That was triple. Insane. Yeah. So, so not a, I should have cracked this one, broke the seal, tried it. I've been busy. I've moved. Uh, new studio still getting set up. Still. So zip it. Next. We're zipping it. Zip it. Just zip it. This is so Pedro Jimenez or PX finishing <laughs> maturation. For those in the know. Are some of my favorites, if done right. Sometimes they can come off a little bit syrupy sweet. Um, and sometimes you just get this nice dark toff burnt toffee coffee listen, chocolate listen, notes listen ah there's a lot of pressure built up there a lot of pressure i was like this is going to be a good old bloop oh, ooh now, ooh wow that looks ooh. like an exclusive maturation ooh, hold on i know you're going to like that there you yeah. go there you go that's what you get right now that <laughs> that it <laughs> so, Even in my Mississippi, I don't know what you get right there. I don't know what you get. This is an annual release. Lafroyd does this every year, uh, usually towards the end of the year in November to December time frame. Mm. Cast and the cart, so it looks like Cardias. That's how I state. used to say it. <laughs> uh, it's Karchus. Karchus. Probably some slight variation of that. This one is 58.9%. They don't have an age statement on here. Mm. It'll be, uh would be interesting to know. I threw the tartan on for a little bit of color. Oh, maybe it's cold. Ooh. It is a little smoke. Chilly. Smoke Ooh. jumped out. Wow. And dark sweetness. Goodness. Wow. Um, it's a warming, I don't know how warming is this. It's like a warming smoke. It's like you were outside and you just came in, it was chilly, and there's a warm smoke fire going. But it's not just peat smoke, though, either. There is a definite brown sugar, yeah. sweetness, fruits, almost, dark. Almost reminds me, not in flavor, but in nose of like a wassail. So when you've got this combination of all these different whiskeys or whatever going on, and it's kind of warmed up, almost like a, an apple cider with a little kick on it before you go Christmas caroling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what that is. You're right. A little bit of cinnamon thrown in there. The smoke is peat, but there's this warm, almost hickory smoke with it as well. Mmm. Mmm. That is an assault on the palate. That is mm. Ooh. dark, sherried PX goodness. And iron. And peat smoke. Mid-level peat. Mm. The... The PX cask is really masking wow. some of it, I think. It's 50, 50, 60-40, 60% PX, sweetness, 40% peat. That's where you're better on that. This has, I feel like I was I was taking a sip and I got a little bit of a, of a, of a steak on a skillet, like a cast iron skillet, almost like a steel flavor. I don't know if I've had that, almost like a... I don't know, it's like a warm metal, but that makes no sense at all. Warm metal. I'm going to have to puzzle in on the forefront. Let's see. Malty, beach, mm -hmm. beech wood, smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the forefront is like a seaweed breeze coming in with, with wood smoking over a fire. With some dark fruits on it. Mm, yeah. Mm. Wow. Not berries. I'm not necessarily getting there's any raspberry, any berries, any, not even necessarily any dark fruits that are standing out, but it is a dark sweetness. 
that's in there. Richness, brown mm -hmm. sugars, mm -hmm. maybe even dark chocolate, spicy, peppery. Yeah, I was going to say this is almost like a cross. It reminds me of like a baking pumpkin bread. But then it was almost like a cinnamon coffee cake with a little mm -hmm. bit of dry, yeah. brown, burnt caramel. Mm. Need to add some water. water. Mm -hmm. You were already getting ready to score it, I think. I was. I was. That's interesting. Pete wise so I'm putting a drop in for me, drop in for you. This is not some kind of dirt clod, peat clod in your face. This is not um, antiseptic. This leans toward that beach fire, that beech wood smoke, as opposed to those earthy antiseptic flavors of peat. So if you like a smoky beach party, I think that's kind of where this peat sits for me. I get a little saltiness to it. Yeah, I would agree. Mm. That's good, though. I don't pick up the tobaccos. I like the brown sugars. I like the touches of cinnamon here. I would go with a little tobacco juice, a little leather. Mm. That dark sweetness. I give you a little, little bit of the old harness leather. Hanging on a hook in a dirty barn. A dirty barn. Did Could you throw me a drop of water in there? Uh, I did. Could it's got to be a harness on a dirty barn hook. 58%. It could even take a second drop. Maybe right. a third drop. Let's the see. hook itself is dirty. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm looking for fruits here. I'm not necessarily, like I say, getting any fruits. Now, my favorite PX matured whiskey is all, it's just this dark, to burnt toffee and coffee and caramels and mm -hmm. chocolates. And I'm not necessarily getting any fruits here. You know, I'm not saying there, I'm not getting any raspberries, any blackberries, mm -hmm. anything along those lines. It's just a darker sweetness that's in here with this pea. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I always feel like you're with the Pedro Menace, the PX, or the Sherry's, other Sherry's that you're good at picking out. Um, I, I never feel, well, you're, you're better at that than I am. But you're right, there's just this general kind of sweeterness, sweeterness, sweetness yeah. with it. Um, I don't pick up a berry or a wine touch or anything like that. Right. To me, it's more about a sweet, softened, Barn wood, drift wood at the beach, salt breeze. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Another good uh, cartridge release. We had had a couple, you know, going back. I think there was a, a Fino cask and a Madeira cask, and they were pretty subtle uh, to us at the time. Maybe they wouldn't be now. Well, I didn't like those as much. We didn't, um, yeah, we didn't. We were unable to really discern the differences and paying the difference, mm -hmm. paying what they cost over the standard releases. Right. Till that triple wood, I stopped buying them. The triple wood carches, and it might be three wood. I don't remember now. I can't remember with uh, Lafroy what they do. But it's either the three wood or the triple wood. Was outstanding. Last year's port and wine cask finish, not as good. We didn't think. Some right. people have. Yep, some did. It, it just wasn't near as rich and, right. and oloroso sweet. This PX, again, again, good. We're back up there. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, 91. 90. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's the smoke, that the, the, the driftwood beach that comes through is nice. Um, I think the, the harness leather in an old dusty barn is the nose coming through. Oh, my trick hip. That's what I get. Trick hip? Right I was going to say, I heard like a little internal Ooh. pain. Like, ah. mm, mm. <laughs> trick hip. Just sitting there. <sighs> All right. That's uh, nice. 90. 85 to $90 price range. Mm. Well worth it. Oh, really? Yeah. That is good. That, that is worth it. Yeah. That's nice. That is good. I like what they're doing. It's like they're sparking up again. Um, I was a little nonplussed for a while. There. Okay. What? There on the exhale, I got a little oh. bit of those PX notes that I like from my favorite, the kind of that dark burnt toffee. 
that's coming through now. I just got it. Oh, yeah, right. hints. The P is still in there masking some of that PX, but yeah, it's starting to show now. I like when the P masks. A little does. water and a little air. I like when the P takes over. Take over, P. P, take over. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, wait. Oh, you know, we haven't really talked yep. about it real quick. Whoop. I am uh, the newest member of the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society team, America team. Team America. And, uh, team America. That's a true America. Parker show. Uh, go subscribe to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society America's YouTube channel. I'll be running a lot of their live streams, uh, trying to get out right. more content and stuff over there. And go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can buy merchandise. We've got coins, glasses, hats, shirts, all kinds of stuff. Helps keep the lights on, helps buy whiskey. Do you wear any crazy hats on your show with the SMWS? I do not. Do you wear any crazy shirts? I've got some retro shirts. Really? Wear. Do they rhyme with... With Wonga? No. <laughs> no manga? That's me, baby. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Slotcha. Dummies. <laughs>